Some of the best outfits that I've ever seen have consisted of used clothes. Even the best steals and deals I've ever seen online have been used clothes. Hell, even my entire wardrobe is actually used clothes because since I wear all my clothes, they are used. <laughs> Do I hate myself for making that joke? Yeah, this video is about how to style used clothes. I don't know how why it's starting like this, but I'm gonna break the video down into three things and they're gonna be your tops, your bottoms, and your shoes. So without further ado, here are the top 10 times anime went too far. But before we talk about how Vegeta killed Yamcha and then took his girl. Wow, can we, can we get some Fs in the chat for our boy? Trippy Red over here. <laughs> On the real, the second Respect Women capsule is finally out now. I'm so happy that I can share this with you guys today. And as you know, there is quite the story behind this one. I'll play it real quick. Life was rough. You know, I had no, actually, no, I, I don't, I don't want to cry again, but this drop really means a lot to me. And I hope that you guys can connect with it on some level or another. The sizing of the shirt runs pretty true to size, but I always suggest taking a size up for the oversized look because the fabric on this one's going to be pretty soft and flowy, but you can get it now at respect-women.com. The last capsule sold out within the first like three hours. So I won't be surprised if this one moves just as fast, but just a big thank you for just giving me the opportunity to do stuff like this it really means the most and <clears throat> i don't want to cry starting with tops <sighs> probably the most bang for your buck when it comes to fashion is thrifted or vintage tees these can be even cheaper than basic t-shirts but they have way more style and character than heavily branded tees since they are a bit older i like to style these very casually and just really i'm not even trying to hide the fact that it's aged if anything it kind of makes it better even the quote like newer stuff is still good used like if a shirt has that markdown because it's been worn a couple times who cares dude there's this new thing that a lot of people don't know about it's called laundry tide pods used to be used as a poisoning weapon in world war ii but they figured out that it has a cleaning effect so now it's used as boy sweat detergent billy mays here with your boy sweat detergent just make sure you wash your stuff before wearing it and even used jackets are great too like bombers leather jackets a lot of the outerwear they got a lot of life to them but the prices drop a lot after being worn so just being on the lookout can save you so much money for the exact same aesthetic as a new piece next up is pants okay this is kind of tricky because some people i'm not gonna say any names but you know some people <laughs> They got some uh, long legs. So you got to make sure you know your measurements. And some people got some stank ass. So make sure you got your fuck boy detergent on deck. But pants too have a lot of life to them and getting them over half off after being worn is such a steal. But pants actually look better over time. So when you're buying a worn pair, it's kind of like you're cheating. You'll get the natural whiskers, patina and fading without having to do the work yourself. You don't even have to have a life you can just look like you have a life because you're wearing someone else's used pants. But like I said, know your measurements. It takes like two minutes to figure it out with a YouTube tutorial and some measuring tape. Then bam, you can look just as good in someone else's pants. Lastly, we got shoes. And this is where things get a bit gray. So shoes are the one thing separating the dirty sidewalk from your body. And you know, you think that since they're meant to keep your feet clean, it's cool if the shoes get dirty. Well, apparently I was wrong the whole time. And for some reason, people be taking care of their shoes more than themselves. Like how, how are y'all gonna brush your shoes more than your teeth? You can't be talking to me about how the soles are icy when your teeth look like a burnt out street light and you smell like a street. Streetwear. <laughs> but I think shoes look good beat. Hear me out. If you're cool with a shoe being a little worn in, as they should be, you'd be saving a lot of money buying a used pair rather than paying a dummy price for a dead stock pair that you're gonna wear anyways. It's not like the sidewalks in Chicago are cleaner than the ones in New York. Like, who cares? Like, when you get a used pair, it's always cool to clean it for hygiene purposes. I like to wipe down the insoles just in case for, like, germs and whatnot. Like, I don't want... Freaking Supreme Lord 69's athlete's foot all over my cleaning for hygiene, cool. But don't try to get every little bit off the bottom of the sole. It's like wearing a shirt in the pool. Like, 
You're not hiding anything. We know, bro. No one cares about your pepperoni nips. Just as no one cares about how clean your boost sole is. But buying stuff used can save you so much money. And there are plenty of ways to get steals and deals on stuff that would be way out of budget. Dead stock. I regularly browse Grailed, Bump, and even thrift stores for some used stuff. I follow this Instagram account, Grailed Steals. It's just a dude who crate digs Grailed for the good stuff and then posts the deals he finds on the page. It's just small stuff like this that can definitely elevate your wardrobe without you having to sell your kidney to buy some dead stock shoes. But thank you guys for watching the video and hope this changed your mind on used clothes. The second Respect Women capsule is out now. Go cop a size at respectwomen.com. This really means a lot to me seeing you guys connect with the story behind this one. It took a lot out of me to even share it, but you know, I'm just happy that there are a lot of people out there that could relate even just a little bit. Go follow the Instagram at respectwomennyc for more on the brand and make sure you send me screenshots of your order confirmations. Hide your addresses though, because I want to use it in the next video as this compilation. And if you made it this far, um, comment your favorite Frank Ocean song.